Reduce, reuse, recycle. We all know this classic phrase. And today on The Specialty Project, we're checking out how North Carolina stays clean and green with the help of the Greenville Sanitation Division. So Greenville has the name green in it, but some people don't know really how to recycle properly or what they can recycle because you know sometimes things change. So you're here today to help us figure out what we can and shouldn't be recycling or putting into the garbage. Yes, uh, I'll be glad to do that. Uh, one thing that we run into often is styrofoam. Mm -hmm. um, we have examples of some of the styrofoam that's used for packaging and yeah. uh, safekeeping of things that are shipped. We have cups that are not recyclable. We have certain types of plastic uh, that are not recyclable. Plastic bags, uh, plates, paper plates, styrofoam plates, and we have food that sometimes ends up in the recycling. And we also have clothes that are sometimes put in the recycling. Usually we say plastics with the one and two recycling number on them or symbol, such as the milk jugs, drink bottles, those types of plastic juice containers mm -hmm. that are plastic are usually recyclable. And something else, when people are recycling, you mentioned don't be putting your recyclables in the plastic bags because then y'all have to go through them and open them and decipher if it is recyclable or not. That's true. The bags not only uh, slow down the uh, processing, but they also become tanglers and it has to be open to determine what's in it. And a lot of times what's in there is not always recyclable. Some household items like batteries, which we're not supposed to throw away. So are there any other items like that where they should be going to a specialized facility that can break those down safely? The smaller batteries we just put in the um, garbage can, but the lithium ion batteries are the ones that cause problems. So there should be a special effort to recycle those with a local recycler. And are there any other items that should not go into the trash? Wood, yard waste, clothing should not be in the recycling piece. Uh, clothing, you have an alternate source for recycling clothing. Mm -hmm. There are people that you can donate clothing to, uh, several community functions that accept clothing, and that would be a better use of the clothing and possibly making sure that it's recycled. And so this is the specialty project where we highlight awesome jobs that, you know, help out ENC. And some people don't know what sanitation workers do on a day-to-day -day basis. So can you tell our viewers what y'all do to help keep Greenville green and clean and, you know, moving forward every day? Uh, well, we have a set service schedule that we try to meet each and every day. Um, we remove trash, garbage, which can be a problem if it stays around. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we collect those items and dispose of them properly. Uh, we also try to make sure that we do it in a manner that's efficient. And how important is recycling and sanitation, like trash removal, to Greenville? Uh, it's very important to us and it's very important to North Carolina. It creates a lot of jobs, but it also, on the back end, um, greenhouse gas reduction, uh, energy saving, natural resource savings, and also um, making sure that our landfill uh, has as much life as possible. Make sure to come back to Hello ENC every week to check out the amazing jobs that make ENC a destination to be.